Hey guys, welcome to Dudes and Tools. So I'm here with you again with a small project of mine. Uh, it's a security system for my home, specifically to my room. Uh, it's nothing fancy, it's just a simple system and I'll show you what I've done and how I've done it. So let's get to it, shall we? So this project of mine is inspired by uh, my love for Hollywood movies. Uh, I really love the scenes where FBI and CIA agents have uh, separate access codes and only few people are allowed in. I was so inspired by these that I, I built one for myself. It works great, uh, no complaints. Yeah, I've been running it for the past 6 months and it's good. The control panel on the front only acts as the user interface, there are no real controls here. So you can't hope to cut and join two wires to open system, it doesn't work that way. The master pin is the pin you enter for the first time while powering up the system. You can reset the system from inside uh, when you are required to change the password or the pin. The three LEDs in the front give the status of the system right now. The access to the doors is also controlled by an RFID reader. Right now this blue tag is not programmed. I use a master tag that is pre-programmed to add or remove cards. Then the master card is scanned. The system will go into programming mode and the next card you read uh, will be added to the system if it's not already there or will be removed from the system if it's already in the system. So right now I'll program the blue card and next time I scan it, it will open. So uh, the inside consists of the power supply, two 12 volt adapters, one powering the solenoid and one powering the microcontroller. The brain which is mainly the microcontroller 80 mega 328p and the door lock solenoid. It is a drop fold solenoid that I got off eBay. Here's a quick peek of uh, the solenoid in action. Now I started off with a basic sketch of uh, the layout. What are the components that are come that are gonna be there and where they should be. The top sketch is for the inner control unit and the bottom sketch is for the outer interface. And I plan to connect these two units using two ribbon cables. So after this, I made an Arduino sketch and made a breadboard prototype. The thing I am holding in my hand is a magnetic sensor that lets the system know if, it's, uh, if the door is closed or not. So I checked the whole system out with this prototype and uh, made sure everything works. The thing that comes next is pretty simple. You just lay out your components based on your layout diagram and uh, connect them using wires and then just start soldering. So a similar pre-built system would cost around uh, 10,000 rupees per door. I just checked some online and uh, it costed me around 2,500 rupees to build this including that includes all the components but the main factor is not the cost here it is the time. It requires around 4 weekends of continuous work to complete this or at least that's what it took me maybe if someone some of you are faster you could build it sooner now another thing i want to talk about is the power supply now i have deliberately made this a fail safe system what that means is when the power goes off the doors would unlock if you want to make this a fail secure system all you need to do is have a 12 volt battery backup inside the room now don't worry, I have connected my power supply to a UPS outlet, so mine is secured anyway. This is the RFID reader, EMFRC522 chip. 
I'll put down a link in the description description if you want to buy one of these. Now after I have fabricated all the boards, I connected them all up again and then I uploaded the program to the microcontroller and tested the thing whole thing again. So I had a few hiccups but I solved them eventually. And only after assuring that everything works did I build the whole enclosure and uh, box them up. So I used uh, plywood to make the enclosure. Now this is one of those times I wish I had a 3D printer. It comes in a very handy when uh, when you are working on a custom enclosure. So after this, I used uh, uh, wood sheets to cover cover the enclosure up. Uh, I tried to do a good job, but it didn't really turn out well. Now the next thing was clamping up the boxes to the door, that was pretty much simple. So I hope that was an interesting build except for the uh, quality of the enclosures that I made. So as it turns out I am not very good at carpentry. And uh, if you have any queries or if I have missed out something in the video you are free to ask them in the comment section below. And I will try to answer them as fast as I can. And uh, have a great day, have a great build. Ciao.